Hello, in this video I'm going to talk about backing track and our Music Binder Pro can be used to play different audio files using a single music sheet. The default key to play an audio files is that if I press that iTunes must be running. If I press that, playback will start. Like this. I press that again and playback will stop. I can change this to another key. I can use spacebar. Let's say from the Music Binder Pro menu preferences, I can change the the action for the spacebar key and I can set it to play pause and now I can use spacebar to start stop playback like this music finder try to find a perfect match when it it send a command to iTunes, it search for the title and the artist. If it cannot find a perfect match, it, it will only search for the title. I have multiple version here in iTunes. I have a backing track, I have some recording, I have two version from CV Raven, I have other recording and when I press spacebar in music binder the correct version is selected because it's the it's the perfect match. Now if I want to play the backing track the first version here, Mary had a little lamb back tennis. If I change here in the menu bar, I change the genre to backing track, Music Binder will try to find Mary had a little lamb with in iTunes, but it will search for a song that as genre set to backing track. Currently I don't have any song, any version of Mary Little Lamb with genre set to backing track. So if I press spacebar, the original version will be played. Stop playback, go back in iTunes and now I will set the genre for this version to backing track. I can use song menu in iTunes and um, sorry, I can use edit menu and song info or simply press command I key. If I press command I, I can type here backing track for the first time you will have to type correctly backing track with a space and as you can see here I already type this uh, this genre for other songs so now iTunes simply uh, I hit B and iTunes brings bring backing track automatically so it's it's very easy I press OK and now I can see that the genre is set to backing track. If you don't see this column in iTunes, you can hit all the control key on your keyboard and click anywhere in the in the column title and check genre here and this will add uh, the genre column. You can also 
click air to set the channel up. It's, maybe it's sim simple than using command I. Okay, now I have a song, Maria the Little Lamb, with the genre set to backing track. So I'm going back into Music Binder and press spacebar. The genre here is set to backing track. And now, as you can see and hear, there is a little speaker here. Music Binder found the correct version. Now, Place the backing track of the Mary of the Little Lamb. I go back in Music Finder and press spacebar to stop it. Now I set the genre to any and press spacebar. Now it's the original version. In iTunes, I can see that the little speaker here is at the left of the original version. Now, if I want to use spacebar for my backing track and the dot, which will, which is the, the default key dot to play the original version, I can do it like this. In Music Binder Pro menu, Preferences, I have here spacebar, play pause. I can set the genre to number three, which correspond to the backing track and that or period I I don't set any genre so it it will be the 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 one that that is selected here in the menu bar so space bar is for backing track and period or that is for any genre Genre is set to any if I press dot or period. You can hear that it's the original version. I press stop again to stop it. I press spacebar and now spacebar can be used to play backing track. You can see it in iTunes. The little speaker is at the left of the backing track. Stop it. Now I have other genre that I can use like cover, practice, recording, mute. I will uh, do another video to talk about the special genre mute. Now if I want to uh, I can s select a, set the genre in iTunes to recording. Here I have a recording of Mary the Little Lamb. I can click here in the genre column and set it to recording. Now, if I come back into Music Binder and set the genre to recording and press spacebar, uh, no, not spacebar because it's for the backing track, I press dot. Here, I will record the end of the song. It's time to stop it. If I play, press spacebar, this will be the backing track because in the preferences, spacebar is set to play pause, backing track. Again, in preferences, I enter the the number three here because in this menu one two three three correspond to backing track if I want to use the spacebar to play recording uh, I will enter five in preferences so that's it mm -hmm.